Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a close look at Swiftex H20 220 Edge Liquid Cooling System. And here is Swiftex H20 220 Edge Liquid Cooling System. This system comes packaged in a fairly plain looking retail box with a picture of a high performance dragster on the front. The side of the box provides pictures and details of two different configurations that this system is available in, namely the H20 220 Edge and H20 320 Edge. On the ends of the box you have listed the package contents and Swiftex contact information in both English on one end and French on the other. The back of the box provides 24 detailed 3D engineering models demonstrating the wide variety of configurations this performance kit is capable of providing to the PC beginner or enthusiast. So let's have a look inside the box and check out what components come with Swiftex H20 220 Edge liquid cooling system. The kit does come very well packaged and protected with several layers of bubble wrap. The first thing you notice when opening the packaging is the installation guide. As always, it's extremely important to read this installation guide before attempting to install this product. For the latest version of the installation guide, visit Swiftech's website at www.swiftech.com where it can be downloaded for free. And here is the MCB120 RAD box, which comes with all needed mounting hardware and a 3.8 PCI pass-through bracket. The RAD box is an accessory item and can be used to mount this cooling kit externally. Next we have an installation CD guide which contains the installation guide in a PDF format and 24 fully detailed engineering models to assist you in selecting optimal component configuration and placement. And you will also receive an alternate bracket mount pack, alternate screw mounting pack, a fill port mod kit, 6 foot of half inch PVC tubing, one 2 ounce bottle of Hydrex concentrated extreme duty coolant, a small funnel, fan speed adapters which are 12 volt to 7 volt or 40% fan speed reduction, and 12 volt to 5 volt adapters or 60% fan speed reduction. These also have a 4 pin Molex to 3 pin connector. And now the main water cooling components. Here is the Apogee XTL Extreme Duty water block. This water block shares similar cooling characteristics to Swiftex flagship Apogee XT. We will be taking a closer look at this water block in a moment. And finally, the MCR220 drive, radiator reservoir and pump assembly. This assembly also comes with two chrome plated half inch barbs and reusable black plastic hose clamps. The radiator assembly includes two pre-installed high speed fans with fan guards, the rear of the radiator is uncluttered and left bare to provide you a clean mounting surface for additional fans or accessories. The reservoir is located at the top of the radiator and has two fill ports for horizontal or vertical installation configurations. On the bottom of the radiator you have Swiftex compact and powerful MCP35X pump. So let's take a closer look at the system components and check out their specs and features. With Swiftex Apogee XTL water block you will receive the following items. The Apogee XTL water block with Intel's socket 1366 backplate, a socket 775 backplate, a socket 1156 backplate, a small applicator tube of Arctic ceramic thermal compound, two hose clamps and half inch chrome plated hose barbs, and a comprehensive water block installation guide. The Apogee XTL is compatible with Intel Socket 771 and AMD Socket 754, 939, Socket F, as well as AM2 and AM3 sockets. To be sustainable, mounting plates for these less common socket types are not included in this kit, but are available for free from Swiftex Customer Support Department. The Waterblocks coat plate is manufactured from high density copper, polished to an extremely smooth mirror-like finish 
and has a slight curvature to assist with optimal CPU fitment. To provide clean, easy and hassle-free water block installation, SwiftTech have one of the best water block mount mechanisms available. All four tension posts are held captive to the mounting bracket with Eclipse. This greatly assists with installation speed and reduces the potential of losing or dropping small parts in or around your PC during installation. The Apogee XTL shares the same micropin cold plate design as SwiftTech's flagship Apogee XT water block. However, the XTL is a budget friendly version. The main differences are the top cap is manufactured from Delrin instead of chrome plated brass and the absence of a reversible inlet outlet top plate inhibits the Apogee XTL from using half inch compression fittings which limits the water block to the use of half inch barbs only. The half inch barbs that are supplied with the water block are chrome plated for durability, free flowing and have an internal diameter of 9.7mm. The supplied half inch tubing is clear in colour, manufactured from high quality PVC and has a substantial tube wall thickness. These properties greatly insist in making the tube extra flexible and resistant to flattening or kinking. To provide good flow through the water cooling system, the MCR220 drive radiator pump assembly comes equipped with SwiftTech's MCP35X pump. This unit is compact and capable of providing more than sufficient flow for this system. There are two sets of electrical connections for the pump. Firstly, the speed control lead. This will need to be connected to the 4-pin CPU fan or PWM header on your motherboard. Secondly, you have the 4-pin 12V Molex power connector for the pump. This system is flow directional. For optimal operation, it's critical that you connect the tube in to the pump and radiator correctly. The radiator is a dual pass single row construction in a 34mm slim form factor. The body and tubing are manufactured from brass with louvered copper fins. These fins are optimized at 12 fins per inch for maximum heat dissipation and low noise characteristics. At the end of the radiator you have a coolant reservoir. This reservoir comes with two fill ports. These are positioned for either vertical or horizontal operation. The radiator also has two pre-installed 120mm fans. For full fan speed operation, connect the fans to a 3-pin fan header on your motherboard or fan controller. To maintain a quieter cooling solution, SwiftTech have also provided two sets of adapters to reduce fan speed and noise. For medium speed operation, you have two 12V to 7V adapters which reduce fan speed by approximately 40%. And for whisper quiet or low speed operation, you have two 12V to 5V adapters which reduce fan speed by approximately 60%. If you don't have sufficient space for radiator mounting within your PC, SwiftTech have included a red box accessory for externally mounting the MCR220 drive assembly. The red box comes with all needed mounting hardware and a 3.8 PCI pass-through bracket. And lastly, the coolant additive. This is a 2 ounce or 60 milliliter bottle of specially formulated Hydrax concentrated coolant. This coolant contains ethylene glycol, has strong anti-corrosion and antifungal properties and needs to be diluted with distilled water prior to use. So let's check out the specs of SwiftTech's H2O 220 Edge liquid cooling system. Installing the system on the test bench was a quick and easy process. Installation time on our open bench was approximately 20 minutes install start to finish. Although installing this system into a PC case will take longer depending on your configuration and layout. 
Overall, Swiftex H2O 220 Edge Liquid Cooling Kit is a feature-packed, user-friendly cooling solution that provides you all the equipment and accessories needed to water cool your CPU, as well as the capacity to further customize the system and install additional radiators or water blocks for GPU or motherboard cooling. The simple, compact design, high-quality components and easy installation makes this kit an absolute force to be reckoned with in the water cooling marketplace. So, with this system installed, we're going to be benchmarking and CPU testing over the next few days, so don't forget to check back for the results of Swiftex H2O 220 Edge Water Cooling System. Thanks again for watching Troubadar's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube or even swing by our forums at www.troubadarforums.com where only the true enthusiasts hang out.